primarily we want it to be a research institute and we want to find old rare books like uh we've been compiling a number of things this is a book by Kanai Kuntia called Mahabhav Prakash which uh was written he says in Kanai Kunti was one of the associates of Mahaprabhu he's mentioned twice in Chaitanya Charitamrita he was the head priest in the Jagannath Mandir and a great devotee of Mahaprabhu but he says in the beginning of this book that he learned these things from Roy Ramananda in the Gambira. So this is a very authentic, very old book. And there's a number of other such books, too, that we're trying to work on. This is another one here. This is uh, Roy Ramananda Padavali in Odia, uh, which is a collection of rare, practically never seen before songs of Ramananda Roy, which the State Museum in Arista in Bhubaneswar, they, they compiled into a book. So we're working on translating that and a number of different books. Chaitanya Chakada, this is a biography of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu from 500 years ago. And Vaishnavi Lamrita, this is a book called Manasiksha, which is written by uh, Bhakti Charandas, who uh, is in the line of uh, Gadadhar Pandit. And uh, Bhakti Charandas, he uh, wrote a commentary on Raghunath Das Goswami's Manasiksha. And it, it's just amazing. <laughs> what he wrote. So these books are very, very little known. You, you devotees are a little academic, or a little bit learned. They would be familiar with two oh, <laughs> heavy books, uh, which I'll show these are in Bengali. Uh, this is the Godi of Aishnav Abhidan. This was compiled by a great scholarly devotee named Hari Das Das. Actually, Fakir Mohan Prabhu was his personal servant. And he I think Vaishnav Vidhan making that was the great desire of Bhaktisan Sri Thakur, isn't it? And then yes. completed after and, and, his departure. Yes. And on Bhakti Siddhanta's request, Haridas Das took up the work further. So okay. that, that's a great work. But in that book, there's very, very there's practically nothing about Odia Godia literature. Because Haridas Das couldn't read Odia. And that wasn't his 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 forte. So he instructed okay. Fakir Mohan Prabhu that you should in increase the Abhidan and add to it about Odia literature. And that's something that he unfortunately never got to do, but he was certainly meditating on it and spoke to us a lot about it. And in some ways he contributed with his whole life, like Mahabhav Prakash, that book we were just showing you, or this Manasiksha of Bhakti Charandas. These are books that he very carefully searched out for many, many years. And as a professor, he used to, to joke with us that he never had a home in his whole life. And he was really a oh. fucker, really a beggar. And oh. all the money that he got as a professor later, he, when he retired, he used to print these books. He was just, this is a, a labor of love for his whole life. And he printed many, many rare books like Purusha Bodhani Shruti, the Papalaita Saka, of the Tarva Veda. Uh, which is quoted by Rupa Goswami in some of his literatures, but that book had been practically lost. The Garanga Bhagavat, which is by uh, Odia poet named Bhagavan Das, uh, many, many different Banamali Padyavali. There is a collection he printed of a Godia poet named Banamali Das. There's a book, Braj Bihar, that he did by an Odia Vaishnava named Dasarati Das, who was born in the 1700s. Many, 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 so many different books. Chaitanya Bilas is an Odia Vaishnava named Madhava Rat who wrote this book about the pastimes of Mahaprabhu. He wrote so many, many books about Mahaprabhu. In fact, my grandma's once commented that Fakir Mahaprabhu knew more about uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Orissa than anyone on the planet. And partly that was because when he did his uh, doctoral thesis in 1983, he uh, he, he wrote his thesis was called Prachin Odia Sahitjari Sri Chaitanya Charit, a study of, of books about Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in, in ancient Odia literature. And so many different chapters. Chapter one speaks about the different biographies of Mahaprabhu in uh, both Bengali and in Odia. And chapter two, he uh, wrote which a, a, a chapter which he later printed in a small book, this book here, called Sri Chaitanya Padanka Puta Odisha, which means the footprints of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Odisha. And it's a compilation of research he did over many decades, 
uh, describing Mahaprabhu's journey from West Bengal to Orissa and all the places he visited on the way. And he personally went to all the villages and found many times there are deities there that are 500 years old of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu or, or of Gauranityananda Prabhu. And sometimes they had local stories, remembrances of Mahaprabhu's visit. And so he compiled all that into a wonderful book, which we also want to translate and expand on, actually, because uh, those places are still there and there's still research that can be done on those places. So that's another thing we want to try to do with Gora.